Hi friends, I am Gupta. So today we are going to discuss the control system. And in this control system we are going to discuss the block diagram detection technique. So we will see what is block diagram and uh, what are the rules of reducing a complex block diagram into a simplified one and we will also solve some numerical problems. So uh, now we are going to study the block diagram reduction techniques. So what says what is block diagram? So for a given control system, uh, to understand the given uh, control system, to analyze and to analyze it and to find uh, the behavior, the output behavior based on the input and what is the role of the feedback, we have to find the mathematical equation of our control system. To understand it, we will use the block diagram representation. So what is block diagram? So block diagram is representing the control system with the help of blocks in which we have diff uh, we use different blocks, different signals like we assign a block diagram as a which one is getting input here and uh, suppose one is here, feedback is here in this system. So, and one block has output. So, combining all this system together. So, like this one is GS, that is the transfer function, and this one is CS, and this one is RS. So, R stands for reference input and C stands for control output and GS is your transfer function. So, this arrow will always be the unidirection and we have, uh, we also use summing amplifier where we have uh, like in our control system where we have to add two signals, to subtract two signals, we will use a summing amplifier. Like here, I have input 1 and I have input 2. So it is, if it is plus, it is minus here. Then here I will get input 1 minus input 2. Uh, there is one more uh, takeoff point is there, uh, term, takeoff term is there, like my signal is this and I want to analyze this signal or I want to uh, give this signal to some feedback system. So I will take this takeoff point whose value will be equal to this signal only. So this one is takeoff point. We have a feedback system like we have GS here, we have CS here as output and we have RSS input here to this summing amplifier and I have a feedback. So this one is HS, it is going here, if it is negative then it will be a negative feedback and if it is positive it will be a positive feedback. Now we will move to our next topic that is to uh, drive the formula of uh, transfer function of a given feedback loop system. Please keep this thing in mind. It is very important to know how to derive this formula because it will help you in making your concepts which will be used, which will be very useful for solving the problems uh, related to the block diagram prediction technique. So here we have a feedback loop system. Here we have reference input RS. Here it is summing amplifier. This one is error signal. This one is gain. 
this one is CS, this, this one is output and this is the gain for feedback system and this one is the signal is BS so as you can see here uh, as you know the formula uh, for this uh, transfer function of this system is given by RS then GS 1 plus GS HS and this one is for output CS ok now uh, now we will derive this formula so consider this point this summing amplifier so here the output of summing amplifier is ES and the input is RS minus BS ok so this is our equation 1 now uh, consider this thing here its value is CS here and here its value is ES so we have uh, CS is equal to GS into ES ok now uh, coming to our third equation we have this point as BS and we have here this point as CS so here we can write here BS the output of this block here uh, is equal to HS into CS this is our third equation so uh, we want to find the transfer function in terms of ES, GS and HS so what we will do we will eliminate the value of ES and BS and we will put this value of ES and BS into our equation 1 so from equation 2 ES is equal to CS divided by GS so I am writing it here from equation 1, 2 and 3 in place of ES I will write CS by GS now we uh, I have here RS so RS is input ok now I will eliminate BS so BS is HS into CS ok now uh, I have to find the transfer function which is CS divided by RS so I will move this thing to here uh, right hand side uh, sorry left hand side so it will be CS 1 upon GS plus HS is equal to RS so that implies CS divided by RS which is the transfer function is equal to GS 1 plus HS into GS ok now uh, this one is the transfer function of the feedback loop system which has the negative feedback suppose here in place of negative I have a positive feedback system so in this equation we have ES is equal to RS plus PS and when I will eliminate here I, am here, here I will get here plus sign I will uh, move this term here then it will become negative and if, if, if it is negative if, uh, if it is positive I will get here 1 minus HS GS so I think uh, you can solve the uh, thing that you can uh, drive the formula transfer function for the positive feedback as well so this one is the formula for the negative feedback and for positive feedback the formula will be GS 1 minus GS into HS so if it is positive here I have negative and if it is negative feedback I have here positive